and this is called The Wind That Moves Across the City. A kid tap dances on the streets of London, each tap of the soles of his shoes clapping. He dances because he was born with a restlessness in his legs, and when he moves them, all the colours come together. He dances outside because rooms are too small, takes to street corners where the winds are his walls. They howl and they whoop through the rhythms he falls through. Ah, woo. He flat taps on the paving slabs that flatten the soil where his ancestors rest. Draw their spirit with the ripples of his feet. They speak through the cracks, feelings seep through the concrete. Each cobblestone fox trotting stories and songs. Yeah, his father was a fisherman. He tastes sea salt in the air. His uncle laid brick. He builds cities with his fingers. His grandmother knew depression. He fights demonics, shakes dust from his shoes, takes ground, claims back places erased from his blood. His mother would always say to him, the greatest antidote to fear is laughter. Keep moving, baby. Keep alive. Never let them steal you. He laughs in the face of cynics. Keeps the city alive with grins and giggles. Keep moving. Keep moving. Arms bend and fingers click. Throws heels. Hears big band. Trumpets. Drum hits. Feels jive. Smells dance halls. The hips. The hands. The screeches. Move deeper, deeper, yeah, to kakataka, move deeper beneath the jazz. He tastes blues and slow moving lullabies like his grandmother used to rock him to sleep. Further still, he hears the sound of spirituals, of African hands clap foreign soil. Hears the thwack of tools, of picks and sickles, of iron and steel beat the saddest songs. And so within the giggles he leaves room for tears, for the voices that spoke his coal-coloured skin, lets them splash untinged from scrunched up eyes, as his head nods the blast off of another perfect spin. A hooded girl looks on, eyes wired and bouncing her head. She clutches notepad in hand, taps a pen to her hip. She drinks him in, hearing hip hop and bass lines in the scuff of his shoes. Tonight, she will write him in a cold council room with fingers drum drumming the footsteps he laid. Scratch pen on paper in rhythms of snares. Love scrunched up pages at damp beaten wall till she clocks that elusive, that perfect flow. In time, she will recite him in bars, in theatres, to reaching crowds and bouncing heads. But for now, she memorises, locks him inside her, folds her paper to the shape of a plane, opens her window and throws it headlong into the wind that moves across the city. If I could take war to one enemy, it would be isolation. If I could join forces, hold court with the warmongers, guide the nations to storm on the walls of oppression, I'd take canvas, I'd take brush, I'd paint the shape of London like the shape of a dove, and with its tears write a manifesto against loneliness. I see a pestilence that clings to this city like a leech, pulling gags over speech and shackles over hands, that causes the lonely to wander streets, heads bowed, dragging chains on feet, wailing slave songs to the beat of a drum that won't sleep, but beats on the walls of our dreams till our dreams weep to waking. 
I see a new kind of slavery, man. One that's moved into mines, moved into homes. Cut phone lines, pulled blinds, shut shutters, locked locks, stopped clocks. Prop blockades up on doors, knocked nails through mailboxes. That has succinctly turned this city into a prison for the ignored, the forgotten, the disaffected, the displaced. I walk London's streets infected by it, taste its tears in the gutters. How can a city so full of people hold a people so estranged from each other? Cause I see walls moving between us like snakes, bending to fit the shapes of low self-esteem, restlessness, lost dreams, resentment, greed, meaningless meetings when all we want is meaning. All we want is skin on skin, touch and love rush that hushes the pain of our lostness, that says you belong son, you're wanted. But what scares me more is what I don't see. The lonely rooms, the missing daughters, the lost sons. Caught up in the dungeons of London's shadows where souls are outrun. Strung high on the gallows of time run low. Growing old in the coldness of no one knowing. And the stone cold living of life alone. How many are there that we don't know about? Slipping through the city like ghosts, holding lives unnoticed and souls erased till all that's left are posters floating on the wind with the word missing printed above a forgotten face. So here's my declaration. My war cry signed with the blood of lost hearts. Here's my cry for the emancipation of my people to rise up. To drive the forces of isolation from our mindsets, from our children, from our homes, from the borders that close round the throat of hope. Here's my cry to the spirit of belonging, to weep spring rain on the wings of this city, to wet the wells of union, kiss the springs of touch, let embrace rise again like an angel awakened from the dust of our longing. Thank you.